Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Ann Arbor District Library Storytime. I'm so glad that you could join me today. I've missed spending time with you. My name's Christopher, and we're going to have a great time today. But first, you know how I like to begin? With a little song called Clap Everybody and Say Hello. And it goes like this. Oh, clap everybody and say hello, say hello, say hello, clap everybody and say hello, welcome to story time. Do you have it? Because I'm going to be relying on you to clap while I play banjo. You ready? Here we go. Oh, clap everybody. Good job! Now you know I like to say hello in lots of languages around the world. Let's say hello today in Mongolian. Senbeno. Ready? Oh, clap. Clap everybody. Say senbeno. Say senbeno. Say senbeno. Clap everybody. Say senbeno. Welcome to story time. Lovely. We haven't done Finnish in a while. Moi. Oh, clap everybody and say moi, say moi, say moi. Clap everybody and say moi. Welcome to story time. And how about Hungarian? Sziasztok. Oh, Clap everybody and say see a stoke, say see a stoke, say see a stoke. Clap everybody and say see a stoke. Welcome to story time. Welcome everyone to story time. I've got some great stories to tell you today. But first, let me tell you about a couple of events coming up on AADL TV that I think you're going to love. You know that every Saturday, it's the Saturday Show, starring so many of your favorite AADL staff members and storytellers. And on Monday, it's baby time for our littlest patrons, age 0 to 2, and they're grown-ups. Let's invite them as well. Why not? I think you'd love both of those shows. And now, on with the show. You know who we like to call out right about now, don't you? Let's see, who is it? Is it uh, Murgatroyd? No, not him. Is it Aunt Sally? <laughs> no, it's not Aunt Sally. Who could it be? Oh, I know. It's the grand old Duke of York. I almost called him by his old name, the mighty Duke of York. But we call him the grand old Duke of York nowadays. Are you ready to call him with me? Oh, Duke of York! And here he is. Oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, and he marched them down again. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up or down. Do you have it? I think you've got it down pretty well. I think we can speed things up, don't you? Just a tad? Let's give it a try. Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, and he marched them down again. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up or down. The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, and he marched them down again. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up or down. The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, and he marched them down again. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're halfway up, you're neither up or down. Super fast! The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them to the top of the hill, and he marched them down again. When you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're up. Up or down. 
Good job, everyone. <clears throat> Did I lose you? Something tells me we could have gone even faster. Well, next time, I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to turn the speed dial up to 12. And then we'll see who gets lost. Okay. Now, our first story today is an old classic. And it's all about a wintry day. And it tells the story of how evergreens got to keep their leaves. And it goes like this. One wintry day when all the birds were flying south, there was one little bird left behind because it had an injured wing. This bird called out to its friends, wait for me, wait for me but they were already on their way down south. This bird thought, you know, if I could just have the winter to rest my wing, I'm sure it would be better. So the little bird went tree to tree, looking for a friend who would shelter it during the long winter. The little bird hopped over to the birch tree and said, Oh, birch, wouldn't you be able to keep me warm this winter in your branches? And the birch said, Ah, oh, who are you, little bird? Run away. I've got my own problems to deal with. Well, rude. That's not a very nice reception. So the little bird hopped over to the willow tree by the brook and said, Oh, willow, wouldn't you have some room to shelter me this winter? And the willow said, Eh, is there someone here? Go away. I don't like new people. Oh, the little bird was getting pretty upset. So the little bird went to the mighty oak and said, Oh, mighty oak, surely you wouldn't mind sheltering me for the winter. And the mighty oak said, Eh, you'll probably just eat up all my acorns. Go away with you. Well, the little bird was having some trouble finding a place to stay that winter. She tried one more tree, and she ran over to a spruce and said, Oh, spruce, wouldn't you keep me for the winter? And the spruce tree said, Sure, just jump into my branches. I'm sure you can find a place to stay. Well, the little bird was quite cheered hearing those words. And then the pine tree, who was next to it, said, Hey, I'll block the wind for you. Well, this was getting better and better. And there was a juniper tree nearby. And the juniper tree said, I'd like to help too. Hey, little bird, you can eat my berries all winter long. Well, things were really looking up for the little bird. But just then... The north wind came galloping down and wanted to force all the leaves out of the trees. The north wind had kind of a nasty streak to it. But the north wind also had a kind streak to it as well. Because the north wind said, I'll hit all the trees. Except for those trees that have been so kind to help out the little bird. I'll leave those alone. And in that way, we see most of the trees lose their leaves in the winter, but not the evergreens because of their kind deed. The end. I hope you like that story. Okay, I think it's just about time for... Who else are we missing today? We called the Grand Old Duke of York. And let's see, is there someone else we could call? Chicken Little. Uh, the cow. Oh, I know who we're missing. It's Ralph. Oh, ho, ho, ho. hey, there, there you are, Ralph. Did you hear your name? Yeah. <laughs> Well, that was a sudden entrance, I thought. You know, Ralph, I think it's just about time to get a little more exercise in. And are you okay? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and I think we're going to do some dancing and some hopping and let's go swimming. I love to swim. And then it might be <sighs> nap time. All right. Sounds good. Okay, here we go. Oh, dance any way you want to. Dance any way you please. Dance any way you want to. But stop when I say freeze. Nice stopping. Thanks. <laughs> oh, hop any way you want to. Hop any way you please. Hop any way you want to, but stop when I say freeze. Good job. Let's see. We need to swim. Oh, swim any way you want to. Swim any way you please. Swim any way you want to, but stop when I say freeze. Don't sink now. Oh. oh, sleep any way you want to, Ralph. <laughs> sleep any way you please. Are you chewing my collar? <laughs> sleep any way you want to. Oh, but stop when I say Freeze. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you woke us up with all that yelling. <laughs> all right. Well, listen, we'll say goodbye to Ralph, okay? <laughs> all right. Now I've got another story that I'd like to read for you today. Monsters Love Colors by Mike Austin. And this one's new to me, but it's already a favorite. Ready? <clears throat> Monsters love to scribble, scribble, mix, dance, and wiggle. Mix, mash, and splash. Squish, squash. Sorry, squish, mish, and squash. Squish, squash, mish, mash, mash, mish, squish, squash. Monsters love new colors. Favorite, favorite, favorite. My favorite color is red. Red is the color of roar and snore and more, more, more. Red. My favorite color is yellow. Yellow is the color of prowl and howl and growl, growl, growl. Howl! Yellow. My favorite color is blue. Blue is the color of scribble and dribble and nibble, nibble, nibble. Hey, don't eat your crayons, silly monster. What new favorite color can we make for you? Orange, orange. Don't forget about that little guy down there who says orange too? Scribble, scribble, mix, dance, and wiggle. Mixing red and yellow makes orange. And what new favorite color can we make for you? Green! Oh, little guy says green. He keeps getting overlooked.
Dribble, scribble, mix, dance, and wiggle. Mixing yellow and blue makes green. Me next! And what new favorite color can we make for you? Purple! Ah, uh, hey buddy, I was supposed to say purple. Scribble, scribble, mix, dance, and wiggle. Mixing red and blue makes purple. And what new favorite color can we make for you? Red, yellow, blue, orange, green, purple. Mm -hmm. I know! Super tropical mega monster rainbow swirl with raspberry on top! Whoa! Scribble, scribble, drip, splash, dribble, mix, mash, squish, squash, dance, and wiggle. Look at all those scribbles. Monsters love new colors. Red, yellow, blue, orange, green, purple, rainbow. <laughs> That's a great one. Well, another story time has come to its logical conclusion. I think we're just about ready for the pirate song. All set? Oh, when I was one, I sucked my thumb on the day I went to sea. I jumped aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was two, I tied my shoe on the day I went to sea. I jumped aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was three, I tapped my knee on the day I went to sea. I jumped aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. Are you, do you still have time for Knees Up Mother Brown? Let's get situated here. <clears throat> Okay. There was a girl from France who didn't know how to dance. The only thing that she could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown, and sit back down. The monsters scribbled and danced. The rainbow was enhanced. The only other thing that they could do was knees up, Mother Brown. No, oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up, knees up, Mother Brown, and sit back down. The bird stayed in the trees, it sheltered there with ease. The only other thing that bird could do was knees up, Mother Brown, no, oh, knees up, Mother Brown, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown, and sit back down. There was a teeny tiny man, hello, who loved to do handstands. Oh, there's one. Almost. The only other thing that he could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. 
knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up, knees up, Mother Brown, super fast, knees up, Mother Brown, knees up, Mother Brown, knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up, knees up, Mother Brown, wiggle, wiggle, fingers right up to the sky, wiggle, wiggle, fingers and wave them all goodbye, I'll see you next time.